Do you want to see some intense toenail cleaning necessary to restore toenails from nail fungus and athlete's feet? This video has a lot of ooey gooey dusty toenail cleaning and it's all necessary. So if you are having similar issues with your nails and feet or you just love a good toenail cleaning video, then stay tuned. I'm Lori Halloway, known as the meticulous manicurist on YouTube and an expert in the field of nail technology, specializing in pedicures. So have your feet been bothering you for a long time? Oh yeah. If you're new here, welcome. Recently... Please subscribe and click the bell to turn on your notifications to know when I upload my weekly video and be notified if your comment got the most likes and will be featured in an upcoming video. Not like you do. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, and that's to a certain point part of the the thing. They just trim them up and file them and away you go. Yep. All right, let's bend your knee. We're going to put your foot flat there. That's good. And my daughter wants to get a, some of that. The product where it needs to be to clear these toenails up fast. Well, I tried to convince her just to drill a hole where that white is, mm -hmm. and then we could put the stuff in there, and she said, I'm not gonna use a drill. So she goes, <laughs> take the drill and go like that. I didn't say the power drill. Right. So, but you know how people that haven't worked around equipment very much. Mm -hmm. Yes, in theory, lots of things sound reasonable. Then you get to the practical end of things and sometimes it can get a little scary. Well. I'm gonna have you relax your foot there. Yeah. That's okay. Um, cracked cavity if it was me, I'd just trim it down and I don't let it go. Uh -huh. That's meant for you. If it starts whatever, just slap a band aid on it. I use Rub paper. it in some dirt. <laughs> I use paper tape a lot, you know. So they used to get mad at me for doing that. And I said, it's cheap, it works, <laughs> keeps it clean. Yeah, we want to get rid of the thickness. Get rid of the excess length. Now, memory. Uh -huh. Did they, they call that the hammer toe? Um, well, you, this, this one, I don't think is really a hammer toe. Hammer toes kind of bend like this and your metatarsal bone drops way down okay. in here. Yep, yeah. that's it, right there. Does it hurt? Uh, if I wear a pen, uh, like those things for a year, I've rubbed a hole in them at the bottom. Oh my. From the bone. Well, you can lose padding in the ball of your feet. Okay. <clears throat> She wants to learn um, more so she can do it easier. That's why she wanted to watch today. Who will put your hands today? That's why we're 
So I trimmed his nails and before I even use the file on them, I'm gonna thin out the edges of them because sometimes when you do this, it makes it a little bit raggedy. So why file it if I'm gonna have to file it again? This bit is called the ceramic cross cut medium fine. We call it the number two on the website. Do you see this really deep, dark patch? When athlete's feet gets into a toenail like this, the top of it feels firm, but underneath of it, it's all gooey and soft. So we need to remove all of that surface area. I'm gonna trim it out with my nippers and then I'm gonna clean. You can see the color change. It changes a little bit dark orange. You've gotta clean all of that out of there. So when he starts applying the nail mycosis, it penetrates through all of that area. So as the toenail grows, it doesn't keep um, growing in the nail plate. Goodness. 
So I didn't have to wear those old fashioned rubber boots with the hooks on the side all the <laughs> said it wouldn't matter if he had them or not. I think she wants to get one of those. Pushers? Yeah. I don't know what all she wants. Huh? I don't know what all she wants to get, but... I was trying to get her to use one of those dentist tools <laughs> to reach up underneath that finger, that toenail there, and just draw it out. Yeah, you want to use things that aren't too sharp underneath toenails or down in the sidewalls because they can poke you and you don't want to get an infection. I know. <laughs> yeah, you were trying to build her confidence. Just do it. Oh, she she knew it was hurting me a couple of times she did. But I just... All right, we're going to straighten out your leg. People often think that really dry skin on the bottom of their feet is just really dry skin, but in fact, it's not. It's actually athlete's feet, and the skin just will cling onto the bottom of your feet for dear life. Right. And you first put your thumb down. Mm-hmm. That's where that bone... Right here? Up yeah. here? That hurt? Yeah, that's where I have... It wears right through at times. I'm sure you're used to knowing more about it than okay, there's little silicone pads that you can get for the bottom of your feet to provide a little bit more cushion in between your foot and your shoe to help but if it keeps bothering you that is the those are the things that podiatrists are good for is because they can you know recommend and orthotics and sometimes people might even need to have their bone filed and adjusted and surgeries well what was it surgery with the VA one condition that diabetics also need to be aware of is that if they're having pain on the bottom of their foot to have it checked by a podiatrist because you can get an ulcerated wound where right on the ball of the foot it actually turns into a wound under the skin it hasn't broken through so it's very important to have your circulation checked and to have the doctor look at your feet that's crazy. <laughs> he said, oh, you forget, this is a teaching college. Everyone had to come up and tell what all the parts were in there before you could be done. You couldn't just stick the camera in there and go back to the class. And yeah. someone that lifts up their foot, it removes the pressure from my file. I tried Brittany to have Brittany strip some sand. Uh, sand. <laughs> yeah, that's how you feel so good. <laughs> I'm terrible. I figure you're going to edit this thing and take all my voice out. So. <laughs> Anything that's inappropriate. <laughs> I'm trying. I figure that's one of them might come out. And using the drill on it, that might come out. But 
she's been following me on YouTube for a while, so. Oh, good. And she finally told me where it was at so I could watch it. Where do you guys live? Battle Creek. Okay. So, and she works nights, so. All right, you can put that foot back in the water. I'm gonna switch. I use it for automotive piece. Okay. And it's uh, three eighths to half inch thick plastic. So when I drop the piece. Okay, you can bend your knee and put your foot flat on this cushion. That's good. We'll get a good angle so people can see the things I'm talking about. Yes. Always end up asking, it, what do you do for entertainment? <laughs> what do you do for entertainment? Me? Too many times I sat in front of the TV playing those stupid computer games. Oh, yeah. I got work sitting there that needs to be done, and I still haven't got to it. Oh, well, you'll be able to see better if they do your cataracts. That'll be great. Well, the, you know how the sun is coming and going today? Mm hmm. When it comes out, I got to whip wear on a pair of sunglasses. Oh, yeah. driving at night, the only, the, the headlights look real dim or yellowish. Yeah. But those starlight ones still get my eyes. So bright. To mess up on a cataract. So I don't know. Yeah, I have a lot of clients who are really happy. They can see way better now. Oh yeah. Is that from cataracts? Floaters in your eyes? They said no. Oh. But they said it will just make mine worse. Cataract surgery? Yeah. Well that stinks. Well, it's that's one of the things I backed off on not having surgery. And now that the sun's aggravating, I know what's gonna happen with the snow. Oh yeah. And the way the economy and the, the political stuff going on, if I don't do them now, I might not get them done. I think I'd do them. I called Brittany, or I had Brittany call on the way over to leave a message with her. They will. I don't want to say send me to an outside doctor, but I don't know if that's better at the end of the day.
about four days. What are you doing? Some guys will pop their tongue or something, and it will echo off the wall so they can hear it. Huh. And then some people will snap their fingers, and they can tell it's the same thing. Wow. fixes sometimes aren't always the best. Sometimes better to just be a little more conservative, less pain. Well, the one thing is when he uses his I do that. I have been like I love to be in my garage building stuff but I haven't been able to be in a long time just because I have a lot of other responsibilities right now but I have built a lot of cool things with me and my husband and um, we built a barn sliding barn door in our house and we've built um, like blanket chests and gun chests and treasure chests for the kids, toy boxes, pergolas. We are gonna um, redo our deck pretty soon. I fail miserably at gardening just because of the time that is required. <laughs> All right, straighten all the way up. Yeah, I'm gonna rub all of this off first or it'll be real slippery when I start to file. You know, you might just want to get a new pair of shoes. Yeah, um, I'm not sure if those stay on the insole or those things can be washed. Right. I, I was going to ask if the VA. So maybe try to go without shoes for about a week and just keep rubbing the product on the bottoms of your feet twice a day. 
And then you know that when you put your shoes on, you aren't putting any bacteria into your new shoes. I say bacteria a lot, but it actually is fungus. It just sounds nicer to the client, and I think that they feel better about it when I say bacteria. But it is fungus. Spray. Okay. Mm hmm Probably not for about three to six months. <laughs> it takes a long time to... I film them and then I upload them, edit them, but I have a whole bunch ahead of you. Did you know that I had a second YouTube channel? It's called The Meticulous Manicurist Nail Academy and we have shortened videos on that channel for you. Oh yeah. It's really fun to see progress. And it gives people hope. Other people who have problems just like yours, who haven't known what to do or how to get their feet to restore. Yeah, these files are magic and they'll last your whole life. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I wonder how they'll kill that on the. Oh, yeah, your estate planning. <laughs> Oh yeah? Is that what that is? Oh yeah, it was so much fun. They finally gave up after my foot was completely sideways because I couldn't take the pain. Oh my goodness. So, but uh, he told the guy doing the trust, he said, there's one thing everybody gets. It's just part of the will. One bill that hasn't been paid. Oh yeah? <laughs> That's funny. Well, he hadn't spent, was it 10 days in the hospital or less, probably less than that. And uh, over $30,000. Holy camoly. I think that was. Okay, we can put this foot back into the water. Sometimes a client needs two foot filing sessions because well, while their foot is soaking in. it makes a little bit more well, of that skin of easier to come off they made him come up to the coats so of how far away from the property lines to put in a modular house or a trailer house, I don't know. <laughs> so, from where the old house was, it was about 20 feet, and then they made him move it back 20 feet. <laughs> it's 
more of a farmer area. They'll back then they were like 16 year old or responsible kids do certain things. He was among that group. Oh, oh. He was the one that uh, that had something stuck and could grab a hold of it, move it for him. Oh, there's he was strong. Yeah, I there's a little hole in it. Okay. I got off a lot of that stuff. That's good. Now she can dig it in there better. Mm-hmm. And that one there. Yeah, the nail has been squeezed in the toe for so long that your nail bed is actually pinched up inside of there, but that should get better over time, too. Now, is that because the shoes have been too tight? Yeah. And when your toenails get wet and your toes squish, it pinches the nail and then they harden in place. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if I soak them more often, it would... And, oh, and not put your tight shoes back on. <laughs> Keep them moisturized yeah. and letting them flatten back out. I think this is either the second or third pair that I got from them. I went to a white shoe. Mm-hmm. How hard is that to learn? To learn? Yeah. Um, it's not hard. It's just time consuming. Just doing the videos and Yeah, and just you know, reading about it and researching and finding the right equipment and the right editing software. Yeah, it's not hard. Brittany does? Now, if somebody is, has the time and dedication, you just gotta build on your knowledge and step by step. Okay. You just have to do it. People just don't real, they underestimate how much actual work is involved in doing it. The stuff that comes out of all those grinders Mm-hmm. And he said, uh, the guy won't deliver anymore. He said, at one point I had four semis sitting out in my yard where this guy had backed into and sunk that 18-wheeler clear into the axles. 
It sunk, oh no. And he couldn't unload it. Because then he'd be driving over the back of it. So I finally got the back trailer. That's a couple of two trailers. One rear pumps and one front one. <clears throat> and they said, um, here's some of the film of them trying to get this out. Wow. When the fungus that causes athlete's feet gets into the toenails and the skin around the toenails, it is so sticky. It just will not come off. So I'm going to get out my little mini diamond bit to clean the rest of this up in just a second. Pull it out. <laughs> Probably was didn't want to sink that one either. No, he was... He stretched his cable out as far as it would go, and I think they still had to put a... He won't bring me any more for free. I got a pay for him now. Mm -hmm. Apparently, he knew the guy from his work and stuff that he was doing. It. He was a... Uh, not a salesperson, but he did the uh, talks and stuff. Mm, okay. I've had lots of questions about the direction of the electric file that it is spinning in. When you work from the left side of the nail to the right, the bit needs to be spinning in the reverse direction. Right. Wow. A lot of TV watching. So he couldn't sleep at night? Oh, he could fall asleep anytime. Really? He said, if I can't sleep for a uh, two uh, I can skip a night, but after that, if I don't go to sleep, the pe people in the black pajamas show up. Because mm -hmm. he was in the end. Oh, no. That was 70% isopropyl alcohol, just to dust everything off, so I can see what is left. Well, let's see. A nurse, a new one, didn't understand what it meant. She didn't understand to go ask somebody first. Mm. So, I don't remember if he thumped her or not. Fine. Where they tap your spine for some kind of disease. 
Oh yeah? You might have noticed during this video that I've been very careful when working on the bottom of his feet not to rub my entire palm or hand across the bottom of the feet because I don't want to take the chance of having any of the nail fung or fungus or athlete's feet transferred to my hands because I don't wear gloves. So I have been very careful and when I'm finished I'll wash my hands really good with soap and water. This was filmed about a year ago. Uh, just so you know, yes, I've never contracted any athlete's feet or a nail fungus from a client. But because it is possible to spread it to other parts of the body, I'm not going to massage the bottoms of his feet and then rub it up onto his leg, even though he hasn't ever accidentally given it to himself or got it on his legs. We're still going to skip that part today. I'll give him a leg massage, but I'm not going to be massaging the bottoms of his feet. I'm going to file again to try to get more of this sticky, sticky skin off the surface of his feet so it doesn't snag on his socks and his feet no, feel nice and comfortable when he's finished. Yeah, we can file that split some. Him, so. <laughs> a fun friend. I am applying the athlete's foot solution to the bottoms of his feet so he can get a little bit of a jump start on getting rid of that fungus out of his skin. six is too long. I just cut him pretty short. Mm 
Yeah, that's not good. Well, when you get older, it kind of comes back to haunt you. Just relax your toes. With the buttons. Yeah. I'm working on that. And down at Amish Country, we got the. I bought one pair and I'll make a pattern on it. Or two pairs of suspenders. <laughs> two or three. Firemen have three. Do they? Yeah. So it, it gets the. Refurbish? Yeah. yeah. And uh, said, how long do you think you can walk in those things? They said, you may be downstairs because it's on the Because they're so heavy? Slope. They said there's a piece of steel in the middle. So it's uh, like a shoehorn effect. Oh. Underneath there. Yeah. So a nail can't come up through it when they're going in for a fire. Oh, that's cool. I never knew that. Well, they say there's uh, four inches of rubber on the bottom and three on top. And that steel plate's in the middle. So, I thought it was interesting. I don't think they could wear a pair like that. Nippers, they, yeah, they, they cut. down the road. <laughs> They'll wake me up when they want me in here. Well, I'm not going to let those in here. It's your turn. You don't like to pull that back and get one of those like <laughs> I could get it from a, 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 two different sources, I think, of right off the bat. Bees or hornets' nest, you know, the paper, paper mud ones. Oh, yeah? Use that. Or go after my friends and his uh, uh, She has milking cows. She has a milking house and milk the parlor, and, and she's forever cleaning the barn. Oh, wow. So I figured a five gallon bucket ought to take care of that. <laughs> this was a long service today. I cut out some of the filing parts and other parts that were just redundant because it was going to be a really long video but the before and after photos are coming up in just about two minutes. People don't know what to think of me because I don't think like other people do. You're unique. That's important. Between and the uh, dementia, it's, it's 
continues to be interesting. When were you diagnosed with the dementia? Maybe a year or two back. That was probably a dumb question of me to ask you. Oh. You have dementia. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it, it took me pulling teeth to get him to do the task. Oh, yeah? Because you knew it. We knew something was off. And I told him. You can put that foot up here too. Well, side by side. Yeah, that's good. So we can have some progress photos. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to visit my channel. People like you are the reason for my success and I appreciate it so much. But remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for all the latest videos. Remember it is free and I'll see you next time.